All right, Gus, why do I have a suspicion that you guys might be ready? Oh, okay. That's totally fine. I need to save this in the right folder anyways. For the record, I was an sync kind of kid, not a Backstreet Boy kind of kid. Just for what it's worth, Justin Timberlake was my dude. No, he was or was not? Was, back in the day. Oh, come on. Sorry. What? Has he done something that got him canceled? Well, I mean, I mean, everyone. Well, I mean, no. Oh, how about that? But, like, not ever. But I don't. All right, Gus, walk me through this problem. All right. And then and then we get what? Two and two fifteenths. Sounds like a measurement in the American system because it gets really annoying. That is correct. Send someone up to this very dangerous tower. Uh, Sophia, of course, because she is kind of my arts and crafts, like, tag-in person. Will, you pick a question for me? Get it? Will you pick a question? Never mind. Hmm. I'm the same age as T Swift. It is Taylor Swift's birthday, hence people dressing up like her and yes. Alright, are you guys ready? Will, are you guys ready? Alright. Will, when fully simplified, what do we get here? I mean, one way is just better than the other, but they're both like equal to each other. I assume if anyone disagreed, you would have already spoken up, but I was making sure I got my answer key up to double check. Yep, 22 thirds or seven and one third. Number three is gone. Yep, make sure to, and today with the slightly smaller scoreboard, we're just doing the number and then we'll erase and do the math and add, right? So like, we'll just keep changing the what score is written up there. Yeah, Math 7 had a really high scoring game because we were moving fast. You guys are south because north is this, north is this way. Yeah. 
Maddie, lead us off as we finish this first lap. Ah, I knew it was dangerous! Will, now had you voted to keep going with this tower or to reset? Well, sometimes the choices we make have consequences. Somebody want to help rebuild this? Gentle. Number 13. Yeah, we'll just put it up there and then you guys can have as much time as you need. Well, it was literally one vote away from each other. The decision that we made, your vote made that difference. So, but what, what does it matter? What do the winners get? Nothing, right? It's like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like a Beatrix, like I didn't even know what we were voting on. I, I don't know, my hand's up. Everyone, sure. You abstain. That's always when you don't vote. You abstain from the vote. You can do that when I can't decide. I abstain on some things. Like when you can't decide what scarf to put on, and then you just decide not to put on a scarf. I did not abstain from my scarf decision. You gotta be able to wear a scarf so you can dramatically flip it around your head and hit things on your desk. You know, mag of, um, what if I just smack the dang towel on my scarf? I think I could do it, man. Oh, what do I do with the towel? Dollars to Kronos. What currency is Kronos currency? Ooh, one forty. That doesn't fit. Wait, four. Oh, wait, what? What's the question asking me? Okay, well then we can do this. Then. Just multiply by four. Five fifty-eight now. So the dollar has gone down in value. No, the dollar's gone up in value, or the krona has come down. So either the dollar went up in value, or the krona went down. That's why the the change did what it did. No, 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 no. Use what's all in your. They they were just arguing that I. At first, I thought they were serious. They were being silly, saying, but it's actually 506. Like, they were just trying to be goofy, but then we decided to look it up. Because, you know, I have to know what's right and not. Once we start talking about it, I feel the need to know. said seasick crocodile and you don't know. It's your amigo Mr. Grinch. Oh, oh my god. Because it's Lindsay Sterling and uh, you know Lindsay Sterling the strings player? Alright. Points if anyone can figure out who this is. Like, 
this band has a kind of unique sound that you could now pick up on. Yeah, Radiohead. No. This is not Radiohead. This is called Titanic. It's not Radiohead. Are you guys solving this problem at all? Like, I already solved this. I have it. Oh, you're done? All right. Should I do like the math? 13, which was actually 115. Who is saving at a faster rate? Why? Because What's the comparison? So, oh, the comparison shows more difference. Yeah, sure. So basically, approximately, well, I don't think it's approximately, but it'd be about four dollars and thirty-eight cents. Yep, Annika saving by approximately four dollars more than Eva. Seventy-five versus seventy-one, really. Send someone to the tower. Thirteen is gone. Charlie, next number. One no, that, that, is the loneliest number. Dang, no, she did it fast. Dang, we out. Too bad. Oh, man. Ready? Oh, I guess I did get it wrong. Anyone have a guess on the band? Radiohead. It's not Radiohead. It's not Radiohead. Look, I think Tom York would be deeply offended that you think this sounds like his voice. All right, Charlie. What Tom York does that the front end of the radio? Yes. Wait, so is this? No. Okay, I didn't think so. I would be disappointed if you thought this sounded like his voice. I don't know if the main family is trying to parse it. Now, really, the big question with a scarf is do you put it on like this or do you put it on like this? What the? What? My mom, you do that. I've never seen it. You've never seen it? It's a big one. It's a big one. We could do statistics and find out how people wear their scarves. Charlie, when simplified. Hey, uh, if we would stop talking, it'd be easier to hear Charlie's answer. Alex and Simon, stop talking. Charlie's trying to give their answer. Is correct. Send someone to the tower. You gotta wait for that suspense. Yes, you do. Um, oh, well, I guess I need to go here. Ada, next number. Let me guess, you want eight? Uh, Oh, I love that you just straight. That was like a cat when they make eye contact with you and then knock something off the table. Let me so stare I into your soul and then not pick the number that you well, want. I think that you never put away from like a little kid. Like, you know, maybe we should just keep it there. As an homage to T Swift. Square that is not itself. So like one is a perfect square, four is the first perfect square that is not itself. 
Alright, Ada, how close to the done are we? I forgot this was your team's problem. I should not have been wasting your time talking about favorite numbers. Well, it's Ada's problem. This is your chance to get on the board positively. All right, everybody pause and put your pencils down for a minute. So I forgot that I had this planned to have a little conversation today. So I have on the board that we are collecting five homeworks this week. What quarter do those homeworks go to? Quarter three. And are those homeworks related to playing Minecraft on Friday? No. What I announced yesterday was last week's homework. How would I know if you had turned them, if I'm not collecting them until Friday, how would I know if you turned them in or not? Like, I'd have to immediately grade them, and I don't have any elves back there doing my grading. So, last week's homework is really the last thing that critically matters before break. If any of those that you are not ready to turn in is fine, you have two and a half weeks to catch up with things. Obviously, I don't want you to spend your whole break doing work. Sometimes when we're given a break of like more work happening, that lets us catch up on the work that we needed to do already, and then we can start quarter three. I mean, we've already started quarter three, but we can start January feeling really good that we're all caught up. So the deal I'm willing to make is those homeworks will not go into math until after we get back from break. So if you do not turn them in before break happens, it's fine. I'm going to grade them and put them in my grade book so I can get ready to pass them back because I also want to be done with my work and take a break. But if you turn them in like the day we come back from break, I'll get it in my grade book before I update math. Cool? Because I got a couple texts from parents last night with kids who were feeling overwhelmed and hopefully maybe Estes incorporated this into your guys' conversation today about procrastination and that sort of stuff. Like, everyone feels overwhelmed, even if you make all of the right choices. You will still, at certain points, feel overwhelmed because you can't control everything. You'll think everything's great, everything's going well, and then a family member goes to the hospital. Or you're in a car crash and now you don't have a car. And like, like right when you think life is great is often when it throws you a curveball and you become overwhelmed. So like that happens, it's okay. It's all about like just talk to people, let people know what's going on, and like figure out how to deal with it. But like that's never going to go away. And it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. It's just life. Sometimes life is overwhelming. Will? Well, I hopefully eventually, because I just talked to him right before class today, so he probably didn't have time to change his lesson plans. But because I know you guys are doing the procrastination stuff in there, some of you, I think, are taking that personally like you're procrastinating, but you aren't a procrastinator. Some of you who are procrastinators are probably thinking, oh, that doesn't apply to me. And it does! And then some of you are in the middle, that some weeks we procrastinate, some weeks we get like caught up. And like, so like if you know you're making the right choices, don't internalize that and make yourself feel really bad. Just say like, all right, I need to keep making the right choices. And even then, when there's a lot happening, sometimes it's overwhelming. So whatever you can turn in this week. Now, if you get the closure done and you want to turn in the closure, you can also turn this in because we're doing a lot of it together as a class. All right, are we ready on this one, Ada, or not quite yet? Okay, because otherwise I was going to put music back on. I am too hot to keep my festive spirit up. All right, Ada, you want to start with A, C, or T? No, you're the question master. You can have another little bit of time to talk with them if you need, but you're the question master. You're the question master. Okay, what is A? Now, this does not go to, like, whether or not you got the answer right, but can you tell me what relationship between...
between this angle and this angle let me know that. Um, could you repeat this? This pair of angles would be described <laughs> as vertical. Alright, so then you want to do C or T? Uh, C. Alright, what is C? And what relationship between these two angles let you figure that out? Or these two, if you want. Again, this is not going to make you get the problem wrong. We're just reviewing as a class. When two angles make a straight line, that is called... Anybody? Supplementary. Supplementary. And then angle T is how big? Uh, 30. Also 38. What am I forgetting to write up here that we have to write? The degrees symbols. When we're writing degrees, label them. Oh, I know. It takes like 10 minutes to actually get to the point of restarting and it just does it. Well, that's a concern because this will only let me snooze for a day. Uh, two, no, what, you can crap, what the hell, that was this. Okay, send someone to the tower. And Beatrix, hit us with the next number. Uh, 11. 11. You are right, I never mo removed 13. No, keep 13 on there. I know, it's up there. Me? No. Jesus. Talk to me after. You're not even gonna let it get to like the first chorus. Are you bringing me this as an offering of peace? Okay. I don't really know what you're saying, but okay. Beatrix. Hey, friends. When I like say someone's name again, is normally because they're gonna give the answer. Beatrix, what did you guys get? 70 is correct. Woo! Send someone to the tower. Make sure you do the innermost parentheses first. Then multiply, then add, then multiply. Right, we're working from the inside out. 11 is gone. Ba -da 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 Vivian. 19. size of markers fit inside of those, but then they change the size of markers. Why? Like, slightly longer. Oh. So, like, certain so, uh, the Expo brand markers would fit in there. Guess we'll give some love to the Backstreet Boys. I don't know if New Kids is on this playlist.
Harrison was my love life. He was my uncle. We were just having this conversation. Vivian, how you guys doing? You have your answer? You mean your team's answer? All right. Vivian, can you reasonably conclude from this sample that aspirin is good for male physicians age 40 to 84? If you cannot conclude this, why not? I take an adult aspirin, baby aspirin, also known, every morning because I have heart stuff. However, the argument on the other side of, like, it's good at reducing heart attacks. Anyone know what aspirin, like, if you take too much aspirin, what it's bad for? Alex? It's what? Your liver. Because what aspirin has in it, your liver processes. And if you take too much of anything, like, I mean, sugar, alcohol, whatever, your body can't process it out well enough. And it messes up your organs. So that means I can't take aspirin for other stuff. Like if I like have a boo-boo and I'm in pain, I already took aspirin today. Like shouldn't take more. So, like, you so you're out. right. This is not a reasonable conclusion. But it's good for you. It's not good for heart attacks. Doesn't mean it's generally good for you to take. It, it has other side effects. Very good. Send someone to the tower. We maybe have time for one more. Let's see what it is. Cora. Thirteen has been chosen, but we're keeping it here for T Swift. Twelve. I have a feeling we're gonna run out of time and have to start with this tomorrow. But I mean, if you guys get your answer in the next two minutes, we can. I probably know the lyrics of this song slightly better than you. You're ready? Oh, it's about to hit the. Okay. Are you sure I have to pause it? Okay. We'll, we'll put it back on because that's when it starts to get really. Did you say, is that the Eagles? No, it's also not. All right, 114. If baseball players, yada, 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 how many home runs does he expect he would hit on Mars? No, that's the question we're solving. The people writing CPM also think they're funny because the answer was 114. They're like, aha, we're going to put this on number 114. You are correct. Send someone to the tower. It'll be our last poll of the day. Once our scores are updated, those are saved and moving into tomorrow. That wasn't even me. That was CPM being like, ah, the answer is 114. We're going to put it on question 114. All right, we are saved. What did you have? None of them care. Live life angry. 
seriously, nine points. So, nine plus three. There you go. We also right. have minus Sorry, nine. no, that was Will. My bad. What's the answer to the land question? Did you guys already get halfway there? Yeah. What was your halfway there? So, the other reason why a manhole cover is round is when they have to, like, install them. What does a circle make a whole lot easier versus any other shape? Materials. Money. You can roll it. Oh, yeah. oh. So literally, it, the other reason is just because when we go to move it, instead of carrying it, we can roll it. Yep. That is why. All right, have a wonderful day, guys.